Hello chess enthusiasts, how are you all doing? You might be familiar with the powerful chess air Alpha Zero, but there's another formidable opponent lurking in the shadows known as Komodo Dragon Chess AI. Recently I had an intense match against it where I made some bold sacrifices including my rook, so let's go. I started the game with e4, Komodo played kid, he could play e5, something like in our Danish gambit, black knows that the c3 pawn is a poisoned pawn, so c5 knight f3 bishop out to c4. I am showing you a chess trap which you can play in your games that defeat your opponent like Magnus Carlsen, e5 and if black captures the pawn then he will fall in our trap, knight takes e5, sacrificing the queen to dominate black, bishop takes d1 and can you guess the checkmating sequence for white, pause the video if you need, you might think of playing bishop takes f7 but the problem is that you don't have the knight to put on d5 and checkmate black. So king e7 bishop check and you may play a knight fork, to the gain your queen, but you know what, your goal isn't to fix your past, it's to make your future as bright, positive and amazing as possible, but black has some positional advantages and your dream of checkmating your opponent will be in vain, so in this case, the right sequence is to play bishop check followed by king e7 bishop check f6 knight g6 king to f7 knight takes check and mate. If you discover this checkmating sequence then give me a high five with a like, as I told you Komodo goes with king's Indian defense, it is called modern defense with standard line because Komodo belongs to a modern society, knight c6 knight f6 d6 or e5 are the main moves, let's see what happens in our game, b5 is an interesting line to advance his queen side, castle and here black also can go with c5, bishop d3 knight f6 e5 knight f4 attacks it but just ignore the bishop and play knight g5. Because knight takes bishop will help white to build a strong attack along with this file, d takes e5 to take the d pawn and attack these donkey tails, bishop c5 castle captured captured and that's it, black have knight e5 move to target at queen and bishop, black can regain his material by capturing any of these piece, but in our actual game Komodo played e6 passively, this is called small center defense which is not a bad setup at all and you know what. The road to success is always under construction, you will come across potholes, obstacles and detours, but keep moving forward and you will reach your destination, playing castle immediately isn't considered because the h6 pawn would be left unguarded there, so black first takes the pawn so move away the bishop path and played castle, rook d1 a5 bishop e2 and black should strike in the center with d5, after the pawn exchanges and bishop exchange, white can push his h pawn and play rook d4 c4. Therefore black will play queen c7 knight f6 casual lines, but you wouldn't believe that Komodo here played a mistake move knight f6. Because after take take white wins the h pawn for free, knight c6 and here I could push my h pawn to make some creative problems, but here I am, stockfish played an insane move, rook takes f6, sacrificing the rook, he accepts my rook sacrifice gambit and can you guess my next game, knight h5, sacrificing in another material, I throws away two pieces to play knight g5, mate in one, take take and the king gets exposed, after the queen to h6 and king g8, I got an another chance to play e5. Involving the rook on g file, capturing the pawn doesn't mean you can protect your position as rook h4 can become a giant destruction, and if you take it with the queen then it will be a checkmate in two moves. You can change the ending to your book at any time, just remember that you are the author of your life, in our actual game, black played queen e7, he didn't capture the knight because he knows the tactic, e5 bishop captured and we have bishop d3 to x ring to the h7 square, knight takes bishop is a threat to checkmate him on g7, so after bishop b2 rook to g4, knight h4 is coming to create 199 kg pressure to the g6 pawn, rook d8 by Komodo and if you dare to play knight h5 now because Stockfish advised you to do so, no fool, if you can sacrifice your rook and your opponent can sacrifice his rook, black will play rook takes d3, and you have to capture the rook, queen f8 stabilizes the position, and black is completely winning the game, because he have an extra piece, you might yell like a monkey and sacrifice your rook but that move will not bring any benefit to you, even if black has no pawns on the king side white cannot launch any attacks against black, and friends. If you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, back to the position, I played rook d4, sacrificing the another rook, 
This move is the only move to secure victory for white, none of your piece can't capture the rook because of queen g7 mate, so in this position, black played f5 to protect his rank, what about queen g6 komodo, your king can't go on h8, because of knight f6 and rook h6 will lead checkmate, rook takes queen check queen takes queen called checkmate. So back to the position, we have king f8 queen h6, the king can't go on e8, let me show you why, knight f6 check will come, king f7 and knight g5 will be a checkmate. If you want to go quickly, go alone, if you want to go far, go together, so in this position we have king g8, knight f6 check and again the king can't go on f7 because knight g5 will whistle checkmate calling to the king, so in this position black captured the knight because he had no choice, he sacrificed the queen and captured the rook, couple of moves later, we have queen takes f5, the king is exposed completely and I have pass pawns to bring the win flag to my position. Learn to say no, not everyone deserves to be a part of your life, bishop to f6 to checkmate black in few moves, let me show you the variation, bishop f5 king h8 queen check, g8. Bishop e6 and game will be over. So back to the position, we have rook e8, bishop check king backs queen h6 king g8 bishop h7 and the king can't go on h8 as bishop g6 queen h7 queen to f7 will be a theoretical checkmate, this position is completely winning for me and what a nice game we played, rook sacrifice knight sacrifice, just amazing, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.